So what the heck is a model? We've been talking about this, but what is it? Well, a model is a guess that we create from data and math. We can build fancy models. You may have heard something like a recurrent neural network that's now popular as one of the deep learning approaches, or a relatively basic one like a linear regression. I mean, think about algebra where you were drawing a line of best fit on a graph. That is also a form of a model. Um, but a model might be best understood really by what it is not. And models are not heuristics and beliefs, or heuristics or beliefs. And more often than not, we use heuristics and beliefs rather than data-driven models. I know this might surprise you, but it's true. For example, we all know to look both ways before crossing the street. Mothers don't provide their kids with a dashboard on traffic conditions and weather and whether or not you know the dew point will indicate stopping time and all these other things. They just tell their kids, hey, always look both ways before you cross the street. That's a heuristic. And that makes sense because the marginal benefit of time saved from not looking, i.e. the second I may have gained if I just walked across the street, pales in comparison to injury or death should our prediction be wrong. And by the way, this is a hint, hint for the future. Predictions can and very often are wrong. So if you cannot be wrong, you need to be very careful about what you choose to predict. But when it comes to business decisions, the outcomes are usually not life and death. We may follow heuristics like email potential customers, you know, new prospects on Tuesdays before 9 a.m. because that's when they actually open emails. But that rule might be from a seminar, you know, a consultant or a book rather than experimentation in your own open rates on emails that you have sent. And in those cases, looking at your data and doing some math might improve your future outcomes. It might improve, you might be able to make some predictions and improve the way you predict. So before we get into the fancier stuff, and we will, we're going to go deep into deep learning, deep into deep learning. It's all always a good idea to check your performance baseline, your baseline performance. So what is the outcome you want to predict? Are we going to start with that? We're not doing data science unless we have outcomes we want to predict. And how good are you at predicting that outcome today? Also, ask if your current approach is a model based on data or a rule of thumb heuristic passed down through the business. So we've defined data science as using math and data to build models that make predictions. We've introduced predictions and models. So now let's turn our attention to the math and the data.